It was the most powerful windstorm to hit the Pacific Northwest in the 20th century. The big blow, as it was called, began as a typhoon, became energized by the jet stream, and exploded into an epic cyclone. In more than 50 years, there hasn't been another storm like it, with peak wind gusts estimated above 170 miles per hour, equal to the strength of a Category 3 hurricane. Former Weather Channel meteorologist Buzz Bernard was a college student at the time on a trip from Washington State to Portland. I remember the bus trip going south in the teeth of the storm. It began rocking back and forth in the winds. And I also remember it was pitch black. There were so many trees down on the streets, virtually, you know, travel was virtually stopped. And to see those kind of winds in the interior was stunning. As the storm howled, people scrambled to take shelter. Notes from the Corvallis, Oregon weather station at the height of the storm read, abandoned. The damage was immense. In Lake Oswego, Oregon, the storm damaged some 70% of homes. A million people were left without power, some for weeks, and more than 40 people died. The storm also brought damaging winds as far as Washington State and heavy rains to Northern California, and even delayed the World Series between San Francisco Giants and the New York Yankees. Candlestick Park might as well be named Candlestick Pond, as the clay-packed subsoil prevented the playing field from drying out. The Columbus Day storm changed the landscape of the Pacific Northwest. Thousands of trees were knocked down and more than 11 billion board feet of timber was lost. Many mountain roads that exist today were built during the recovery efforts. For the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Todd Santos.